Right. Exercise number three. Tricep extensions. Alright, so you've done your push-ups and hips the triceps as well. Now it's time to actually really hit the triceps. This is where your chair comes in. Alright, so you're going to bring your chair. Make sure that it's a sturdy chair. This is not a sturdy chair, but I'm used to it. So always test the tools that you're going to use before you use them, right? Especially in the training environment. All right, so we're going to, there's actually three different uh, positions as well. So we're going to start with basically a very difficult uh, tricep extension, a full body weight tricep extension. So what you're going to have here, a very close hand positioning. We call it the diamond hand positioning. Right, it's basically the shape of a looking diamond. Right, so your thumbs are touching, index finger touching, your finger is touching, place the hands onto the chair. And from here, test this and see. You want it to snap while I'm there. Alright, so from there, you've got your, your upper body and your legs at basically a 90 degree angle. Alright, tightening up the core, you're going to drop down with your head lower than your hands, elbows to the floor. Extend upward. Drop down. Extend upward. Right, so the further down you drop, the more resistance you'll apply on your triceps. Right, so that was one more. You can already feel it. We're really targeting the tricep area. Right. We give you a step down exercise here. If that one feels a little tough, then do your step down exercise. What you're going to do now, same position, but the moment that you bend your elbows, you bend your knees as well. You kind of assist the resistance with your legs. Right, right there. You can feel immediately, I can feel there's a, a, a difference in intensity. It's not as heavy. Right, so firstly, you can start off with the tough one, then move over to this one, and then finally, can't do the other two, dropping down onto the knees, get your hand positioning right, arm straight, full range of motion, drop in, back up. And right here, the closer you get, the less the resistance. Right. Here we go. And once again, go to point failure or the two minute limit. Alright. You can do slow repetitions, fast repetitions, it's up to you. Later on, I'll start showing you techniques you can apply to increase the resistance of your whole exercise routine without applying extra weight. The moment you start going heavier, you increase injury risk. Right. So, nothing wrong with that. I love training with heavy weights, but always go for safety first. Right. Tricep extension. Right. Exercise number four. Bicep curl squat combo. Once again, you're going to need your belt. Remember, you need a sturdy belt, something really strong. Luckily, you're not going to really, uh, it's not like you're going to injure yourself if it snaps. It's just going to mess up your training routine. Make sure it's really tight. This is actually a karate belt. I think it's a... Uh, oh yeah, I will pronounce that. It's a funny language. All right, but it's a really strong belt, and that's what you need. Also, you need a lengthy belt, one that's really long. All right, so one from there. Once again, get your foot positioning right. Make sure that you've got equal resistance on both sides. Roll that up, making sure that you've got a nice tight grip. And stand up straight. The moment that you stand up straight, you must feel that there's already a resistance. You must be able to stand up straight comfortably. You must be able to have a good posture as well. Right, from here, you're going to squat down while you do a bicep curl. On the way down, you're going to create resistance by basically focusing on your bicep curl and not the squat. All right, so on the way down, focusing on the bicep curl, really pulling deep into that squat, keeping my back straight, good posture, very important, I don't let the back curl or curve. We want to go hollow back, buttocks out backwards, shoulders backwards. From there, I tighten up my biceps as much as possible and I resist the upward movement, but I push with my legs, straightening out. Right, so now that, is you're basically, basically a full range of motion squat that you have. You can't get a full range of motion bicep curl in, but it's fine. It's a lot of resistance. So now what you're going to do, continuous repetitions. The same with all the exercises. First, test it out. Continuous reps for two minutes. I'm not going to go for two minutes. I'll do like five. So it's... Right, so that's what it's supposed to look like more or less. Whew. 
busting a sweat already. Exercise number five, jump squats. We're going to start off the jump squats and then we're going to do step down exercises. Right. If you have no joint problems, no axle pains in your uh, joints, tendons or ligaments, then this is the exercise for you. Especially if you've got a lot of strength in the legs, if you want to increase your uh, explosive power, it's going to be great for you. Right, so you need a nice wide foot position. The foot positioning is up to you. You can have a narrow foot positioning, wide, you can even have a very wide adapter uh, stance. But uh, I prefer just your basic feet, basically shoulder width apart on. So from there you squat down as low as you can. The moment you get to the bottom, you tighten up the core and explode. Compress and land. You don't want to thump your feet when you land. You want to compress down. Land as softly as possible, like a ballerina. Right, so you squat down low, jump, land, compose yourself. Jump, squat, jump, squat. Right, so don't continuously jump. Small break at the bottom, just so that you can get your balance and your act together for the next jump. Right, if that one is a little bit too challenging, don't just go on it completely because you're going to get there. The next one is just your basic squat. Your basic squat put your foot positioning once again up to you. You can have a narrow foot positioning, you can have a wide foot positioning, but the basic idea is shoulder width apart, toes slightly outward. I just need to get my pants ready, otherwise they might tear. Right, from there, shoulders backward, tummy tucked in, butt out. I like to extend my arms forward, to squat down as low as you can, back up, tightening the quadriceps, tightening the glutes. Squat down, tighten. Squat down, tighten. If you find that is a little bit too challenging, step it down, do a half a squat. Back up. Half a squat, and back up. Then finally, even that, if you find it hurts the joints, it hurts the hips, take a very wide stance. As wide as you possibly can, where it's still comfortable, where there's still movement. Hands extended, tummy tucked in, but I'm backward. From there, squat onto a half a squat, straighten, tighten the quadriceps, tighten the buttocks. Right, here we go. Right, exercise number six, pop lunges. Right, you'll find pop lunges are very difficult. The injury risk is also quite high because of the, you know, alternating of the feet, a lot of weight on just one leg at a time. Even though you disperse your weight and you try to, it's usually a little bit of an awkward position. Right, let me demonstrate. Right, so let's start with the left foot in front. Now, if you're not certain with uh, your balance or your strength in your legs, avoid this specific one. I'll give you a step down exercise right after this. Right, so what you're going to do, you're going to start down here, once again, squatting down low. From there, pop, land. Pop, land. Pop, land. Right, once again, as you land, compressing down again, you can even do a double pop. You can do pop, 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 It's also wise to have a very soft mat, just for in case you misjudge the distance and you drop your knee all the way to the ground. I don't want to do this in the cement. If you smash your kneecap into the floor, you're going to be sorry. All right, so let me show you a stick down exercise. You've got your one leg in front of and one in the back. And basically, you're just going to do a standing squat. Because you have two minutes, you can either decide to, for one minute, do as many repetitions as you can on the one side, alternate for the other minute, as many on the other side as you can. It's good to count your repetitions to make sure that you do equal amounts on both sides. That's your step down standing lunge.